Aging. Oh my goodness, we're all aging. Can we slow the process down? Hello, I'm Dr. Stephen Schimpf, and this is part of a continuing series of short videos on aging gracefully. In our last one, we talked about slowing the aging process down uh, with lifestyle changes. And let's, let's go into that in a little bit more depth today about how to slow the process down. I might take this little quiz. Here are five healthy behaviors. Most of us would like to follow them. Turns out some of us don't. But here they are, and you can answer for yourself. Uh, do you exercise 20 minutes at least three times a week? I'm not saying how much exercise or what kind of, just do you exercise? Do you smoke? Eat fruits and vegetables regularly. I'm not saying every day or how many, but do you do, you do that? Do you wear your seat belt regularly? And do you have an appropriate BMI, meaning is your weight appropriate for your height? Now, here's the question. Not only do I ask you about yourself, but what percent of Americans do you think can answer yes to all five of these questions? I think the answer might surprise you. It certainly surprised me. Now, here's a clue. We know 20% of us smoke. So the best answer, I mean, the most positive answer we could have would be 80%, but it's a little less than that. Let's see. Well, it turns out 3%, only 3%. It says something serious about our social situation um, and the work we need to do. Because uh, if we do want to live to an older, riper number of years, we have to change our behaviors. We talked in earlier videos about losing 1% per year of many of our organ functions. Let's just look at a little graphic of that here. I started it with a plateau from age 20 to age 40, and then I took it down at 1% per year to age 100. So you can see that by age 100, we get down below the 50% mark. With our, uh, with our great redundancy of most of our organs, that's okay. Although we do get to a point, as we talked about with, say, bone mineral density, when if we fall uh, with, with, with it that low, the chance of, uh, of a fracture is high. Well, what if we could change that rate? Not by a lot, just by a quarter percent. So let's look at the next graph, and if we sped it up by a quarter percent, what you see is the line goes down faster, it reaches a low point sooner in life, and of course the longer we live, the wider that gets. Let's look at the other way, though. What if we could do some things with our life that would slow the process just by a quarter percent? And you see that there. It comes down, and by age 100, there's quite a bit of a difference. It's quite a bit less, I mean, we're still, we're still going down, no question about it, but not as far, not as fast. So the first question is then, can we slow it down? And we can. We've talked about that a bit, and we'll talk about some more in a minute. But then there's the other part of it, though, and that's how we start out. And that's the next graph. We can start here, or we can start here. Well, how do we change those two things? Well, with bone mineral density, as a teenager and as a younger kid, get lots of exercise, get lots of calcium, get eat the right foods, and, um, uh, and that bone mineral density will build up higher, so we have a, we're starting at a higher point. And by the way, that's especially important for girls because normally girls don't go as high on there as, as the boys do. So that's important. Same thing with cognitive function. Let's build it up as a kid so that when we start up, we're starting from a higher point before we go down. So how do we do it? Well, it's all with lifestyles, lifestyle modifications. I repeated it here three times just to make the point. Um, it's hard, but it's critical. At least as of right now, there is no pill and there's no fountain of youth, although we will talk about both in a later, a later uh, video because there are some folks working on both of them. But for now, it's all up to us. We have to do it ourselves. So it is possible to slow the aging process. It's possible to avoid or at least delay the, that onset of those chronic illnesses like diabetes and heart disease and cancer and so on. But we got to do it. Um, we got to do it with, with our own lifestyle changes, the ones we've talked about here of uh, of, of, I hate to repeat them again, but I will, exercise, diet, stress reduction, and no tobacco, and then for our cognitive function, add, add those four again, but then add on 
intellectual challenge, and social engagement. So next time, let's talk about why it is we age. What are the mechanisms, the physiology of aging?